Hi, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. Today I'm on vacation, and I've got a slightly abnormal filming situation going on. I had to mount my phone camera to a lighting fixture in the bathroom, but I have exactly 10 minutes before I have to head out of my room, and I wanted to show you some hot weather vacation makeup. So this will be a tutorial focused on how I get ready very quickly when I'm on vacation, in a hot climate. So let's get started. So first things first, I have primed my face with a couple of products. I've been using the Dior Total Capture One Essential. It's a serum and it acts as a catalyst for all other skincare that you use to kind of heighten the effects of it. I've only been using it for a few weeks, but so far it's been great for my sensitive skin and I've been feeling very balanced and smooth, my pores are refined. So the verdict is still out in terms of what the long-term effects are, but for now I'm really liking it as a very simple skincare step. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some Rachel K CC cream. This is definitely uh, the subject of a, quite a cult following online. It's a Korean brand and the CC cream is intended to create a matte finish to make your skin look better, look more even. It also has whitening properties and it does have an SPF over 30 and it's a physical sunscreen and I really like using physical sunscreen as much as possible especially when I have to apply it multiple times a day in a hot climate. So that is now on my face, the Rachel K. And I will be doing a full blog post review on this as well as a, f a post on her mineral powders, which I have in my possession. So be on the lookout for that, that's coming up. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of eye cream and I'm working with the Shantikai Stress Repair Concentrate. And I've been using this for about two weeks now. It's a very rich eye cream, it has caffeine to reduce puffiness and dark circles and I just take a little bit like this, mix it on my fingers and then lightly pat it across my orbital area. It's divine. I really like the feeling. I like how refreshed my eyes feel and appear afterwards and I also like the glow that it gives under makeup. It's a beautiful kind of glowy area. All right, on to foundation. I am working against an authentic time constraint, so I'm gonna try to be quick here for my own sake as well as yours. So I'm working with the Kinebo Sensei Cellular Performance Cream Foundation. I did do a recent video on this in a blog post. I like this foundation in a dry climate because it is moisturizing and it gives a beautiful dewy finish that doesn't get cakey or dry out. So I've just sprayed some of my Evian onto my beauty blender here and I've decanted some of the foundation into a tiny sample pot for travel. I'm going to put it on the beauty blender and then start blending it onto my face. This is a beautifully pigmented foundation and so you don't need a ton but because it's creamy and hydrating I do like to make sure that I get a nice amount on my skin just for the skincare benefits alone. Alright, I'm just getting to the end of the blending here. This whole process takes me about 45 seconds to do this well and I find the more adept you are with the beauty blender, the better the finish, the more seamless the application, the more it just looks like really good skin. And now that foundation has been applied, and I'll toss my little sample pot back into my makeup bag here for future usage, perhaps. Tuck the beauty blender away. And I'm going to go on to concealer. Now, I keep some Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, my favorite concealer for over a decade, an SC3 on, a, it's preloaded on a retractable brush. So I can just use it to touch up any areas that might need some refinement. In this case, I'll just tap a little bit where I see some darkness. The overt freckling that might not be covered any blemishes or flaws, I can just pat this in. Okay, that is finished. Next, I'm going to try to give you a view of this. This is my Laura Mercier planner for makeup, for travel, and I'll try to do a blog post on this soon because this actual unit is spectacular. I can fit all of my makeup that I need for travel into this, and it's insulated, and it's got a nice hard shell on the outside so your makeup is protected 
and it just makes for a more streamlined traveling experience, especially for those of us who like to bring a lot of beauty products. I'm going to use my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity 01 and my Sephora Synthetic Brush, it's the angled one, number 130, to add some contour. Gosh, I'm moving fast right now. I just suck in the cheeks and tap this in. This cream is very blendable if you're using the right brush and a kind of a quick movement to really buff it into the skin. Don't need a lot, but in this case, the rest of my body's gotten kind of tan on this trip. I've been in Tucson, so I'm being a little bit more liberal with the contour just to kind of blend everything in. I can bring it down my neck. I do let my body tan with SPF 50. That should tell you how potent the sun is out here. But I don't let any of the rays of the sun touch my face. Sunglasses, hat, sunscreen, the whole deal. So there is some inevitable evening out that needs to be done. Then I'll move on to setting this with a little bit of bronzer. This is the Guerlain Four Seasons Terracotta in Nude 00. Tapping it along my cheekbones. And I like the fact that it just kind of sets the cream and adds a little bit more depth before you cross that line. Then I have been working with a beautiful blush to put on the apples of my cheeks. It's the MAC Immortal Flower from the All About Orange Limited Edition collection that was released a couple of weeks ago. I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks and that gives just a little bit more flesh. But the Immortal Flower is a really pale color. I'll be doing full swatches of that soon. Yeah. And then the final touch on my cheeks, and I've really been enjoying this step, is I'm using this e.l.f. powder brush. It's a flat brush. I got it for like three dollars at Target, but it's perfect for, I couldn't find it, for applying the Le Metier de Pote lip and cheek tint, the cream fresh tint in Mystique, which I've covered in videos before. And I just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks for some glow. And the glow is just it's too much. I love it. It's really natural. It doesn't impart a ton of pigment because I've already added pigment to my cheeks, but this is just the finishing touch that I love. All right, moving on to eyes, and this is going to be a very, very rapid eye. I'm going to use the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon number four. It's creamy, and I'm just going to put a nice wash, single wash of color on my eyes and blend it in. You just get a nice wash of pigment very quickly with this. And this formula, as I've talked about it many times over, is incredibly long lasting, very silky, doesn't crease on my eyes at all, and just gives a beautiful kind of bronzy, finished, polished look without looking over the top, but it's very shiny, I like it. Okay, on the inner waterline of my eye, I'm gonna put some Rouge Bunny Rouge Eyeliner in Salome. It's a cool eyeliner. It just gets a nice black to kind of make your eyes pop. Once again, this is a casual look I'm going for. I'm off to a meeting, so nothing okay. serious. Mascara will be the Chanel Volume. It's the Le Volume de Chanel. This is some pretty amazing stuff. I'm really liking the fact that it lasts in very hot weather. No smudging, no flaking, no smearing. I don't know why that's happening, why it's not happening, but I'm thankful because it's very stalwart in intense weather conditions. It's not even waterproof, but in terms of how it holds up to the environment, environmental factors like heat or wind, I'm very pleased with this formula. And I know it's something people have talked about online, people like it. So I'm happy I was able to pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Both eyes are complete now. It was very quick. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of Le Metier de Beauté eye brightening and setting powder and refresh under my eyes in place of concealer. I don't really need concealer today, majorly. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this powder to brighten up the area and set what I've already applied and keep fallout from happening. On my lips today, I'm going to be using three products. First, the Three Lab Perfect Lip Lip Balm, which has been a savior for me in this 108 degree weather I've been in. I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny bit on. Definitely deserves its own blog post, which I'll do soon. 
And then I've been living with the YSL Rouge Volupte number one. And I've had I've gone through a few tubes of this, but for some reason, it's all I've been wanting to wear on this trip. It's polished and pretty without being over the top. And then I'm going to top it with a little bit of Le Metier de Beauté lip cream gloss in bloom, which is a Neiman Marcus Beverly Hills exclusive color. It's a nude, creamy, opaque nude. It just works together with the YSL. On my face, I don't know that I need like full on powder, but I'm going to put a little bit of the NARS light reflecting powder in my typically shiny areas like my nose, all on my T-zone here, just to set things. It's not pigmented, but it does add some refinement to the pores and to the skin and does remove any unwanted shine. And hair is going to be simple today. I washed it last night. I'm just gonna do a quick brush. And I'm good. And I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this rapid 10 minute makeup for vacation in a hot and arid place tutorial. That was wordy. And I invite you to please go ahead and visit me at my beauty blog, Beauty Professor, which can be found at www.beautyprofessor.net. I welcome your questions and your comments and hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Take care.